And now the latest across the wide world of tropics. Tropical Weather Bulletin for September the 28th. Well, good evening. This is your Tropical Weather Bulletin for September the 28th, and we have two active tropical cyclones, one being Major Hurricane Sam, still going as a major in the Atlantic Basin, and Typhoon Mandul in the open West Pacific, moving towards Japan. We also have marked Peter and Gulab here on the map, as both of them have the chances of reformation in their respective basins. It's day 270 of 2021, and so far we've had 75 storms form, and as we'll look at in a little bit, it's likely that that number is going to rise by quite a few numbers over the next few days. In the Atlantic Basin on day 120 of hurricane season, you can see X Peter there east of Bermuda. We're giving it a 60% chance, as is the NHC, of reforming as it generally heads northeastwards. Sam is a major hurricane still and is uh, potentially could get to a category four again before gradual weakening takes place. Expected to be a major hurricane for quite a while throughout this week. And Invest 90 and 91L are both in the main development region. 90% chance on both of those systems that they will develop. And if they were both to get named, that would mark the end of our naming list in the Atlantic Basin for the second year in a row, marking the third year on record. In the Eastern Pacific, we do have an area of interest here, a 50% chance for a tropical wave that is going to be generally moving into that uh, formation area that you can see there. The models are depicting that this could potentially bring some impacts to the Baja California Peninsula and mainland Mexico. So if you are in those areas, please do continue to monitor the progress of this disturbance as we could see some significant rainfall and maybe some wind impacts from this. In the Western Pacific, we have Typhoon Mandul well out to sea, thankfully as of right now, but this could get a bit close to Japan and potentially bring some tropical storm force winds into portions of the coastline of Japan. And 91W is well out to sea, 60% chance that that one forms as it generally tracks westwards. In the Northern Indian Ocean, it's a bit more active than, than you would expect, um, but Gulab, a 60% chance of that reforming in the Northern Arabian Sea. Models have actually been quite uh, consistent saying that that one, that one may have a good chance of reforming. We have 98B, which has a 20% chance of forming before it moves into Mexico. And another area of interest in the uh, southern Bay of Bengal, 20% on that. We're looking generally towards the latter part of the five-day period here for formation. And this system could, again, bring some heavy rainfall to places in India. Not, some, not really anything that we're not used to, knowing that we just came out of the monsoon season. And finishing this off in the southwest Indian Ocean, we do now have a 10% area of interest here, as models are depicting that we could potentially see a tropical cyclone form here near the equatorial regions. Getting to the satellite imagery, here we are in the Atlantic Basin. You can see the main dominating feature here is, of course, Major Hurricane Sam. The National Hurricane Center expects this to become a Category 4 once again before weakening slowly as it tracks generally east of Bermuda. You can also see the disorganized nature of what was Peter. It's got a very good circulation, but not much convection. If it can increase that convection, perhaps it could reform into a tropical cyclone. And you can see the disturbed thunderstorm activity by Africa and in the main development region. Those are our two invests. Again, 90% chance that both of those form. In the Eastern Pacific, as the sun sets, we see some general thunderstorm activity south of Mexico. That is our area of interest, and that will be tracking into our formation area. And as I said, could bring some impacts to the Baja California Peninsula and mainland Mexico. In the Western Pacific, the main dominating feature here, of course, is pretty large Typhoon Mandul that, that again could bring some potential tropical storm force winds to the coastlines of Japan. And you can see off to the, to the east of it, 91W is looking pretty good right now, although it does look like it is getting sheared a bit from the outflow from Mandul. In the Northern Indian Ocean, you can see the um, vorticity of Gula moving into central India. It's still pretty good looking right now. And again, that could reform in the Northern Arabian Sea. You can see the thunderstorm activity also associated with 98B there in the Northern Bay of Bengal. Again, that's not likely to develop, but either way, heavy rainfall could fall in India from that system. And you can see the thunderstorm activity in the Southern Bay of Bengal that could be uh, hints of our next area of interest. We'll have to see though in the future. And in the Southwest Indian Ocean, there's not much going on here that would signify tropical cyclone formation, but that is expected to change within the next uh, few days, as again, models are depicting the potential that the tropical cyclone may form here. 
and again, potential for another early system storm here. The sea surface temperatures worldwide for our area of interest in the eastern Pacific is looking quite warm, ready for development if the environmental conditions are right. And the Atlantic Basin is ready for Sam to continue on as a major hurricane. It's ready for X Peter and it's ready for those main development region areas of interest. In the Indian Ocean, you can see in the Arabian Sea and Bay of Bengal for all of our areas of interest, they're all favorable, um, quite favorable in fact in the Bay of Bengal in particular for our next area of interest. And in the Western Pacific, we're looking pretty warm, ready for 91W uh, and Mindul may remain pretty strong as it tracks northwards before it crosses uh, that, I guess, warm eddy in central Japan. And where our southwest Indian Ocean AOI is, waters are generally 26 to 27 degrees Celsius there, so we could see some formation there. The sea surface temperature anomalies in the Atlantic, you can see that's generally above average. It's really gotten its act together after Larry. We're starting to see perhaps a little bit of a sign of upwelling from Sam. In the Eastern Pacific, it's generally looking above average for our next area of interest. In the Central Pacific, we're generally looking near to below average. In the Western Pacific, we are all above average here. We might start to see some upwelling, maybe some below average values from Mindul. And in the Indian Ocean, for both our, or all of our areas of interest in the Northern and Southern uh, Indian Ocean, generally looking above average. Looking towards the on this day, we're looking back towards 1966. Hurricane Inez was peaking on this day. It would peak around 18 Zulu as a 130 knot, 150 mile per hour category 4 hurricane in the Eastern Caribbean. There is a low resolution satellite, but it is to be expected as this was the beginning of our current satellite era. We also had Tropical Depression 10L, which would be, go on to become Tropical Storm Judith behind Inez. Wouldn't last too long at all. Kristen was nearing the Baja California Peninsula as a weak tropical storm, and Typhoon June was heading out to sea, thankfully east of Japan as a Category 2 on this day. Again, this is um, provided by our Cyclone History page on Twitter. I do recommend that you follow that. This Cyclone History stuff is very interesting uh, to learn about. Moving into the Atlantic naming list, we might have to add a whole other column here. If both of these areas of interest form, which is looking more likely, the next names are Victor and Wanda, and the next name, the first name on the auxiliary list is uh, Adria. In the Eastern Pacific, it's possible, looking more and more likely, that we could see Pamela in a few days. The next name after Pamela is Rick. And in the Central Pacific, we're still, still waiting for Hone, and honestly, it doesn't look like we're even going to be seeing it at all this year. Let's hope we can see maybe Iona next year. In the Western Pacific, after our little spree of storms, it is possible that we see Lion Rock soon with 91W. After that, it's Kampsu. In the North Indian Ocean, the next two names are Shaheen and Jawad, after Gulab, of course. And I would like to know if Gulab were to reform, it would keep the name Gulab, same case with Peter. In the Australian region, we are again getting closer to the Southern Hemisphere seasons. The next two names are Patty and Ruby. In the Southwest Indian Ocean, we're looking out for Ani, Anna, followed by Batsarai. And in the South Pacific, we're watching out for Cody, followed by Dovi. Thank you so much for watching this Tropical Weather Bulletin, and we'll probably have another Tropical Weather Bulletin either standalone or live tomorrow night. <laughs>